Lane. Now today's video, I'm gonna be talking about Derrick Rose. Now we all know Derrick Rose currently play for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Even though the Timberwolves lost in the playoffs against the Rockets in the first round, Derrick Rose still showed everybody that he's capable of playing in the NBA. And also, he was averaging 14 points a game and he was playing decent minutes on the floor. Now, I just want to do this video just because I know there's a lot of Derrick Rose fans that don't even know if he's even going to make the Hall of Fame just because he's been going through a lot throughout his entire NBA career with injuries and everything. And I just want to talk about Derrick Rose and just give you guys my opinion on what I feel like he has to do to make the Hall of Fame. Okay, but first, in my opinion, Derrick Rose is hands down one of the best point guards that ever played in the NBA just because when you look at all the things he accomplished, during the beginning of his career. He won rookie of the year in 2008. And also he was the youngest to win the MVP in 2011. He was 22 years old. He still holds that record till this day. And he was a three time NBA all-star player. So Derrick Rose, he was an outstanding player. We all know that when he was younger. Also, I feel like the Chicago Bulls should retire Derrick Rose jersey just because he has done a lot for that team. And he set records for himself on that team. And it's just like, just think about it. Okay, when you think about Chicago Bulls, of course, everybody thinking of Michael Jordan and everything. But when Derrick Rose was playing for the Chicago Bulls, everybody was thinking of Derrick Rose. And even when he left, when he went to the New York Knicks, a lot of people were still just thinking about Derrick Rose. Like, Derrick Rose, he lives in Chicago. Like, his basically what I mean by he lives in Chicago, his legacy stays in Chicago. Just like Michael Jordan's legacy stays in Chicago, Derrick Rose's legacy stays in Chicago, if you know what I mean. And it's just like a lot of people showed him so much love. He did so much for that team. I feel like if he did not get injured, of course he wouldn't have got traded. He still would probably be playing for Chicago to this day if he did not get injured just because that was his team. And it's just like we all knew Derrick Rose was hurt when he went to the New York Knicks just because Chicago was his home. Like he started off his career in Chicago and he was doing very, very well with Chicago until all the injuries happened and everything. But at the same time, the only reason Chicago had to give up on Derrick Rose just because they basically just got tired of waiting on him. You know, he kept getting injured. I don't know if he tore his ACL about two or three times. You know, he kept getting injured. Chicago, they started to lose games and everything, and they just couldn't wait on him no more. Like, they literally need to make a change. We all know the NBA is a business, and if you're not giving the team what they need, they're eventually going to move you. But once Derrick Rose played for the New York Knicks, he only played 64 games because, you know, he was having a little injury problems too with the Knicks, but he still was playing enough games with the Knicks that season. He played more than half of the games and he was averaging 18 points, so he was playing okay. But that year, the New York Knicks did not make the playoffs. Then after that year, he went to the Cleveland Cavaliers. He signed a one-year contract with them and he only played 16 games with the Cleveland Cavaliers because he got injured again during the beginning of the season. He was only averaging nine points, so Derrick Rose was still getting injured and it was holding him back like always. And as you can see, once he got to the Timberwolves at the end of the season, he got injured again. He was out for at least like two games, so he was still getting injured. But ever since then, he has not got injured. He played good in the playoffs. He didn't have no injuries or anything. But this is the thing. OK, so Derrick Rose career stats, he was averaging 18 points a game, five assists and shooting 45 field goal percentage. Now, just looking at his career stats, in my opinion, I feel like that's a Hall of Famer stats. And on top of that, he already has the Rookie of the Year, and he has the youngest to win the MVP, and he's a three-time NBA All-Star. Like, it's hard to make the All-Star game. You gotta be hooping to make the All-Star game. And back then, it was votes and everything to make the All-Star game, but at the same time, you had to be doing your thing on the court for fans to vote for you to make it to the All-Star game. So just looking at the things he already accomplished in his career, I feel like he's already Hall of Fame certified, but at the same time, that's not guaranteed at all. It really is not guaranteed just because he's been going through a lot of injuries throughout his career and he missed a lot of games. But I just feel like, in my opinion, I feel like if Derrick Rose can get a ring, you know, it's gonna be very hard. He's only 29 years old right now. He plays for the Timberwolves and he's in the Western Conference. So it's gonna be hard. I'm not sure what team he's even gonna play for next year. But I feel like if he can get a ring in his career, I feel like that is 100% certified that he will make the Hall of Fame. But at the end of the day, we don't know just because right now the situation he's in, we just don't know where his NBA career is going to lead him to in the future. So we just got to wait and see what Derrick Rose is going to do next year and see if he signs with the Timberwolves once again or he might go to a different team. But I uh, thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you press that notification button. TK Game, we out.